Western Europe is facing social challenges of aging population and shrinking workforces. This challenge is particularly acute in coastal regions such as the Two Seas Programme. Zeeland, the westernmost province of the Netherlands, West Flanders in Belgium, Nord Pas de Calais in France, and the southeast of England are areas where aging has been identified as the main challenge for the coming years. Within these regions, the total proportion of people who are 65 years and older is growing fast. In 2030, up to 30% of people living in these coastal regions will be 65 years and older. Also, the economic crisis is reducing public resources for health and social care. That's why there's a pressing need for smart growth through innovative products, services and business models to support healthy aging. It is clear that, that uh, in the Western world we are living in an aging society. This has a um, very huge impact on society, it has an impact on, on, on the elderly, it has an impact on the children. People are also functioning in a different way. For instance, people are, are moving to, towards the coast, for instance. So they, they are from the inner side of the, of, um, of the city and the town, they are moving to the coast. So they bring along their specific needs. Um, we have to think about a way in the future on how we can adapt to these needs of the people. Um, the typical healthcare sector will not be able to answer and is not needed, but we need to integrate um, societal questions, welfare, um, maybe economic questions towards the demands of um, elderly people. Aging is not just an issue of healthcare. Aging and the aging related needs and the shift is related to different questions. You need to think about housing, you need to think about um, functioning, you need to talk, think about free time. In my point of view, we should take into account the needs of elderly, but this does not mean that we only think about the problems of elderly. There are some many opportunities. Um, there is opportunities also for business, for instance. Um, I think if you're living at the coast and a lot of people are coming to live at the coast, we need to organize an economy, for instance, not only focusing on elderly people, but taking into account people that are becoming elderly. The Cura B partners from France, Belgium, the UK and the Netherlands joined their forces in order to strengthen their regional health economies. They're trying to do that by bridging the gap between businesses on the one hand and the world of healthcare and social care on the other hand. Working at a systems level, Curabee has developed deep understanding of the complex ecosystems in the regions. Healthy aging is a new and expanding area. For many SMEs, it means encountering the business obstacles in the complex healthcare sector for the first time. The first one, uh, the may, probably the major one, is that the procurement process is very cumbersome. So it's rather slow, it includes a lot of detailed uh, tendering. On top of that, there are very complex regulations, which um, particularly if we compare across, across the regions. The markets typically are quite fragmented. Um, and by that we mean that the, for the SMEs it's difficult for them to determine who the user is going to be at one end, but then who is going to buy the product, who is going to fund the buying of the product, and therefore who is the right person, persons, for them to speak to. There is, uh, in general, I think, on behalf of SMEs, a lack of awareness of the opportunities that these, these markets provide. And um, on the other side to that, running parallel, is that at the same time, the, the buyers are rather risk-averse, they're quite conservative. And uh, finally, SMEs have a, a lack of resources, so, so they, they really don't have the resources to cope with, um, if you like, the complexity of the sales process and, and, and the marketing process. The Two Seas Trade Project aimed to encourage and support SMEs in Kent, East and West Flanders and the southwest of the Netherlands to trade within these regions. So working closely with SMEs from a range of sectors, Two Seas Trade developed deep understanding of the support necessary for SMEs to bring products to market. Before we set the Two Seas Trade project up, we found that there were many reasons that companies were afraid of international markets. Some of them felt they didn't have the capacity or the resource or the experience to trade internationally. Others weren't sure whether their product or service would work in an international market. And finally, many just found that felt considered it was too risky or expensive to trade internationally. So when we set the Two Seas Trade project up, we found that many companies simply weren't sure who to talk to. 
They weren't sure how to go about researching and selecting a market, and they weren't sure how to negotiate the barriers that they would face when trading internationally. Another challenge that many companies face was finding the right contacts in an international market, whether that be customers, distributors, agents, or other businesses to work with. And finally, many companies were unsure about how to take a product or service to market. <laughs>